Hey there, Virgo. Good morning and welcome to your mid-May 2021 tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie and I'm excited to connect with my Virgo soul family members today. Let's just check in. Let's see what's going on with the energetic forecast with Virgo energy. Today is Tuesday, May the 18th. Time is about 9 a.m. on my time, on my side, mountain time. So Virgo, this is the second tarot reading that I've done for you here in the month of May. If you haven't had a chance to watch the first tarot reading, I encourage you to go here to the channel, go to my playlist, and watch the Virgo reading. In the other Virgo May tarot reading, I provided your astrological forecast for this month, which I feel like is just great information. Where we look at the month, we see which planets are moving into which specific houses, impacting Virgo energy. So as I was preparing for your tarot reading, Virgo, I took a minute and I glanced through your astrological forecast, just to kind of get an idea of what you had happening this month. You had, uh, on the 14th of this month, you had Jupiter moving into your seventh house of relationships, which that's an important energy. You know, Jupiter brings you abundance. It brings you good fortune, luck. So some of you may have experienced some type of shift or change in regards to your relationships. You may have had a relationship come into your life recently. Uh, you also have some 10th house energy, which is regarding work and career. So we may see either relationship energies or work energies come up here in your tarot reading. And then you also have some fourth house energy regarding the home and the family. So at the end of the day, these energies are likely going to come up in your tarot reading. So let's get started and let's see what's going on in the world of Virgo. Uh, whether your sun sign is Virgo, maybe your moon or rising sign is Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo in your Venus. Maybe you're checking up on a Virgo. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. It's like, I don't even know if I'm Virgo, but there was something about this reading that just said, click on it, check it out. Trust those energies. You're here for a reason. So Virgo, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross Tarot Spread for your tarot reading today. First thing I want to do is I want to pull an affirmation card for you from my Magical Times spell cards. And let's just see which affirmation your guides feel would be suitable and appropriate for Virgo to hear, taking us into your mid-May tarot reading. So Virgo, the affirmation that you have taking us into your tarot reading today comes to us as discernment. Big energy here. Uh, see the truth of the situation. Use common sense and don't be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows. And Virgo, I have to mention, this affirmation should sit really well with a lot of you because look, at the end of the day, Virgo, that's one of the things that your energy is great at is paying attention to the details. It's like, you know, if you live with a Virgo, you shift something on the on the dresser, good chance that the Virgo is going to notice that, that that item has been shifted just a little bit. So you're great at paying attention and using your sense of discernment right, to be able to get to the truth of the situation. So we may be getting to the truth of the situation here in your tarot reading. So let's get started. I'm going to use my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland. The first two energies I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull from this deck. This first energy coming in is going to represent your present energy. Could be present energy right now at this moment. Or for others, this may represent the energy of the matter at hand for this specific tarot reading. I know we have a lot of Virgo soul members, soul family members out there, and it's great to connect with all of you. You know, you guys know this. I have this thing for Virgo energy. I just love Virgo energy. I was married to a Virgo at one point. Okay, present energy taking you into your tarot reading for mid-May comes to us is strengthening bonds. Right? So I'm looking for a beginning right here. Right? Some of you may be very well into the energy of working on this beginning. Could be the beginning of love, could be the beginning of a new job, could be the beginning of a new friendship as well. We're going to pull some clarifying energies. Clarifiers give us a better idea of what's going on. It gives us a chance to go a little bit deeper. So Virgo, if there are three terms that, that kind of sum up who Virgo energy is, you guys would be considered the investigator, the altruist, which means that you do things out of pure motivation. Uh, you know, you're, 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 you do things to 
for the benefit of everybody. It's not always about selfish thinking. You know, you, so you have self-interest on one side of the, of, the, of the spectrum, and then on the other side of, of the spectrum, you have altruism, right? And that Virgo energy is a very altruistic kind of energy. And there's one more thing that you are, but I, for the life of me, I can't think of it right now. All right, Virgo, let's pull a, another energy for you. And this is going to come through as your challenging energy for mid-May. To see what challenges Virgo has ahead of them this month. Okay, here's another beginning coming in. So, Virgo, in the energy of creating some serious beginnings in your life right now, and maybe you're... Maybe you're in the process of using this energy of discernment. It's like, I want to start this beginning, but I want it to be a good beginning. I want it to be a true beginning that's meant for you. Let's pull some clarifying energies. You know, the challenge, right? The difference between these two beginnings right here is this is a very passionate beginning. You know, this is a beginning that's all about like, this is just you, who you are, your ability to be able to shine, allow your true colors to flow. So I feel like it's this beginning that's connected to that beginning. It's like I'm in the, I'm trying to create this beginning, but I want it to be a good beginning for you. Let's uh, let's change decks and let's move over to my Crystal Vision Tarot set. Let's clarify the Strengthening Bonds beginning. Please clarify Strengthening Bonds for Virgo, please. limiting energy just came out here we have the five of swords so in this beginning there's some resistance here you know you may have others that maybe may not be supportive of you in this beginning you know five of swords it's a limiting energy you know it's feeling like the energy of somebody stabbed me in the back so you may be in this in this energy of trying to create this beginning and you know you've taken on this energy of maybe somebody's not really supportive for you in this beginning let's find out more tell us more about the five of swords Okay, so the Ace of Swords. Here's another another Ace coming right at you, Virgo. Uh, Ace of Swords is this is a, a beginning of a new perspective. So you're in the energy of trying to create this beginning, right? But I want to go into the beginning with a good perspective. I don't want to take any limiting energies with me. I don't want to step into this beginning with this understanding that somebody's maybe going to stab me in my back. Somebody, I'm not going to have the kind of support that I'm looking for in this beginning. Let's move down to new vitality and let's clarify this. Please clarify new vitality for Virgo. Please clarify new vitality. Okay. All right, Virgo. We have three energies coming in to clarify and I feel like these are gonna be helpful energies. So some of you may be in the energy of this beginning of could be overthinking it a little bit. I say that because here we have the four of swords coming in. So I'm definitely putting some time into thinking about this beginning. But I could be struggling with my thoughts. You know, some of my thoughts, they may go both, both ways. You know, some of my thoughts is, is look, friendships, three of cups. Right? I, I want to create this beginning with friends, having a good support system right here. Um, but there's the other side of the thought, which is right here on this four of swords, where maybe I'm thinking about the five of swords, where I'm wondering, look, or is this person, it could be a specific person, or it could be a group of people, are they going to have my back regarding this beginning? So you're being encouraged to take a bit of a mental break from this. Um, stop overthinking about it. We're overthinking about it too much. This is all about trusting and divine timing. I mean, think about it. You know, Virgo, do you feel like the universe has your back? It serves you well to feel like the universe has your back. You know, because look, at the end of the day, that's an energy, right? And I'm moving forward with faith and trust that everything is going to work out great here. I mean, I need to use my discernment, of course, but trusting in divine timing connected to this beginning. Divine timing is going to bring together friendships. Three of Cups, a cause for celebration for some of you. All right, Virgo, I'm liking your, your reading here. Let's move down to Focus on Energy for you. Tell us about Focus on Energy for Virgo, please. Okay, we've got two energies coming out. Now, focus on energy. This is this is your 
this is a message from your guys, letting you know where you should be focusing your energy on. So, where should you be putting your focus, Virgo? I need to be focused on the changes that I want to have in my life, that I want to create and manifest in my life. Attached to these changes, we have the Queen of Cups energy. So, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Some of you may be connected to a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Right? They don't have to be. One of the, they don't have to be a water sign, uh, but this is somebody who's very loving, somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who's a good listener. This could be a very supportive mother for some of you, right? And I'm kind of feeling and picking up on that energy as well. Attached to the wheel of fortune, so the wheel spins and it spins off changes. I'm I'm going to focus on the changes that I love in my life, the changes that make me feel at home, that make me feel whole interesting virgo let's move over to the past tell us about past energies for virgo please past energies for virgo okay this seems very specific virgo so we have two limiting en en energies that are coming in right here right makes sense that you're in the energy of wanting to start a beginning because here we have the ten of swords so something in your in the, in your life in the past came to an ending right the ending may have came may have come to you somewhat abruptly it may have really shaken things up in your life you know and maybe that's what's caused the overthinking for some of you you know of this five of swords right? because here ten of swords right i've allowed the swords to pass uh, I've overcome these sword energies. You may have had a tower energy that stepped into your life to shake things up a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna in the extended tarot reading. I'm gonna clarify this tower energy, and I'm also gonna clarify this ten of swords. Um, but these past energies, you know, the tower showing up, the tower energy, it shows up in your life because there's a change that's needed. You know, and many times we're the ones that create that change. If we're listening to our intuitive promptings that we're getting, you know, and maybe some of you experience that where it's like, Virgo, wow, you need to bring an ending to this. Virgo, you need to bring an ending to this. This is heaviness. You may have taken action. You may have created this tower energy on your own. And that's what allowed the ending to take place for others of you. This may have been the universe recognizing that you needed a change in your life. The universe recognizing, Virgo, that you need a new beginning here. Um, so when that happens, the universe, it sounds kind of magical and hooky, right? But the, the universe has a way of stepping into your world and shaking things up, moving around the parts and pieces in a way to create change. And I know just from personal experience, this is the way that it happens because I understand those intuitive nudges that I get when it's time for me to make a change for myself. And sometimes I'm really good at making, following those nudges and making those changes. But if I'm not, the change needs to happen and inevitably the change happens regardless because the universe steps in and has a way of moving around the parts and pieces in a way to bring something in your life to an ending. All right, Virgo getting a little more interesting here let's move up to strengths for you tell us about strengths for Virgo okay so we have two excuse me three energies coming in here are the first two energies these are energies that are coming in showing up as your strengths right so here you have the seven of wands why would the seven of wands come in as your strength this is your ability to stand your ground to stand up for yourself it's coming in as your strong energy. It's also coming in attached to the Eight of Pentacles. So your ability to stand your ground and to put your focus into work, you know, striving to become the best at what it is you do, really working hard, right? This could be a work-related energy, right? So for some of you, this beginning may be work-related. It could be a new job, a new career, and maybe the tower moment was the the, the, the ending of the last job, you know, something coming in saying Virgo you need to have a change in your life this tower shows up and sure enough it brings you the ten of swords something in your life came to an ending the other energy that's coming in is your strength it comes to us as a nine of cups beautiful energy so your ability to focus on manifesting all of your hopes and dreams and it, this is your strength right Virgo you have fantastic attention span your ability to pay attention to details and to focus definitely your strength and that's what's coming out here so here I am focused 
on creating and manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. In this day of reading and these energies, Virgo, you're going after what it is you're all about, what it is you desire most in life. And you're, yeah, it's almost like your drive, your ambition is really coming through as your strength. Also, you know, some stubbornness too, because you, you need to stand your ground right here. Let's find out more. Let's move over to the future. Tell us about future energies for Virgo, please. Future energies for Virgo. Okay. We have two energies that are coming in to clarify the future. So these are future energies that are connected to the past. You had the tower energy that showed up moving around the parts and pieces in your life in order to bring something in your life to an ending. Takes you into the future energies. Here I am in the seven of pentacles. Notice she's not busy at work right here in the eight of, of pentacles. This is the seven of pentacles where I'm focused on the seeds of the past that I planted before. Notice she's resting right here. So, you know, it may have been this, if for those of you where this is a job situation, you know, maybe there was some time after this last job went away where you were sitting back thinking, what am I going to do next, right? I need to focus on, I want to go after what it is I want. It's coming in attached to the lover's card, which is representing the energy of Gemini. So some of you may have opened up the door in your life to have a Gemini come into your life. It doesn't have to be a work-related energy. This could be a past relationship that came to an ending. And look, it doesn't have to be the whole relationship ending and the two of you separating ways. It could be, for some of you, for some of you, it, maybe it is. For others, this could represent the energy of something within a relationship that I, that I was in that's just not serving us anymore, right? And I was aware of this, and this is what needed to come to an ending, and the tower energy came in, and it brought that to an ending in order for the two of us to get back and focus on what it is we're good at, right? Maybe going back to our roots. Why am I picking up on that energy for some reason? So yeah, some of you may have just reversed and reared back and went back and focused on just our roots, focusing on this connection, soulmate type energy and connection in my life. I mean, for others of you, you know, where maybe it was a loss of a job, it's like, you know, that, that, for some time, for some people, you know, that loss of a job, that can bring your relationship closer together. Let's move down to suggested approach. Tell us about suggested approach for Virgo, please. Suggested approach for Virgo. Okay. So Virgo, you, what is, what's being suggested to you? Focus on changes coming into your life, right? I say that because here we have the chariot card coming in. So cancer energy just showed up in your tarot reading. For those of you that may be connected to a cancer, maybe being suggested that you go after this cancer. But this is about change. This is about movement that's coming in, right? What is the way that movement comes in? Movement comes in when there's balance, right? And what do, when I say balance, what am I talking about? I'm talking about your balance, your, your own energetic balance. The balance of your masculine, feminine energies. There's a white horse and a black horse pulling the chariot here. It's when these horses are balanced that they're running together in unison. That's what brings forward changes. So the other energy that's attached to this is the Five of Cups. Am I focused on this past, right? Maybe I'm focused on this tower energy and whatever just ended in my life represented by the three cups that are tipped over in the water. Tipped over cups represent sadness, grief, disappointment as well. Is my focus on too much of the sadness and the grief and the disappointment where it's possibly preventing me from seeing the two full cups behind me? Two of cups, love, connection, soulmate kind of energy. So this is all about you, your ability to be able to change your focus, which I feel like you're gonna be great at doing, Virgo. What it is you need to know. Tell us what Virgo needs to know, please. Got to walk away from those swords. Uh, six of swords. I'm in the energy of turning my back, walking away from those swords. Look, what are you walking away from exactly, Virgo? There are six swords here. Let's count them out for you. Here's five of them right here. I'm walking away from the painful past, walking away from the energy of feeling like 
somebody stabbed me in the back. And that could have been a relationship. That could have been, you know, a romantic love relationship. Could have been a friendship. This could also represent the energy of a job as well. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. The other sword comes in as the Ace of Swords. There's your Six, a new perspective. I'm lying down the swords, turn my back, walking the other direction in order to open myself to, up to having a new perspective on things. Please clarify these Six of Swords for Virgo. Walking away, some of you could be walking away from a Pisces or a Cancer. We have Cancer energy showing up twice. Uh, what are you walking away from? I'm walking away from things that don't make sense to me, right? Does everything in life have to make sense all the time? No, sometimes things just happen just because, right? Not everything has to make a lot of sense. And I feel like if it doesn't make any sense to you, don't get stuck in those energies where it's like, yeah, I'm just, I need to understand this. I need to understand why this person did this. You're just being encouraged to turn your back and walk the other direction. And you're walking away from whatever's confusing in your life. You've got some beautiful beginnings here, Virgo, so we want to get you to these beginnings. Hopes and fears for Virgo, please. Okay, we've got three energies that are coming out. Hopes and fears. So here we have the death card, and attached to it, we have the devil card. So devil card represents the energy of Capricorn. Right here is the energy of Scorpio. The inscription on the headstone says, Life is changed, not taken. Right? So... The devil card could represent the energy of fear. You know, I, it's my hope that this this energy of fear has finally come to an ending for me. Uh, life has changed, not taken. So something came to it. Something came to an ending, and I feel like it needed to come to an ending in order for the passion to come in. This Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands coming in two times. Uh, and this is coming in as your challenging energy. So some of you, you know, you may be in this very energy of, I need to end this in my life, right? And some of you may be ending things with a Capricorn in your life as well. But I feel like for many, what you're putting an ending to is you're putting to the ending, putting the energy to the ending of fear, you know, fear of others letting you down, fear of maybe being stabbed in the back by somebody. Some of you may feel like, hey, I got stabbed in the back before. And I get it, you want passion now. Virgo, tell us about the potential future. Potential future for Virgo, please. Tell us more about the potential future for Virgo. Okay, we've got three energies that are coming in. So let me hold up the first two. Here's the first one. Potential future, four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is a limiting energy, representing the energy of, I'm hanging on to something too tightly in my life. I don't wanna take this energy with me into the future. If I do, it's gonna strip me from my passion. And I'm all about my passion stepping into this beginning right here. So maybe there's something in my life that I'm hanging on too tightly to. The energy that's attached to this comes to us as the Queen of Swords. So air energy just showed up. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Notice she's holding a sword. Right? I'm going to use the sword to cut away and remove anything in my life that I'm hanging on too tightly to. Right? And this can also represent the energy of scarcity, of feeling like, you know, I don't have enough. I'm going to use this sword to cut away and to remove these energies in order for the butterflies to be able to come in, in order to be able to step in and to be able to create this beginning in order for you to take off the blinders and realize that you have a lot of choices ahead of you, Virgo. Seven cups right here. She's being offered all of these cups. She's flying around on her dragon, but notice she's not receiving any of them. And it could be because she wants the cup that's down here on the ground. It has a rainbow coming out of it. We saw that rainbow earlier in your tarot reading. New vitality right here attached to this beginning. So, Virgo, I feel like many of you, you're in the energy of, you just came out of something that you, you that ended, or you, either you ended it or it came and it, it ended for you. Uh, 
and it may have been difficult. You know, we have the death card here, overcoming fears, overcoming sadness, overcoming grief, overcoming the energy of feeling like I can trust others. Put you in the Seven of Cups energy, having a lot of choices. So Virgo, wow, I love your tarot reading here and I, and I need to know more. So I'm gonna offer a extended tarot reading for you on Vimeo. So for those of you that are resonating with these energies, that like to follow me over to Vimeo, you can do so by clicking on the link found in the, the description box just below this tarot reading. Where do I wanna get some clarification? Well, Virgo, first of all, I wanna clarify the Five of Swords. You know that's coming in attached to this beginning right here five of swords is limiting energy i want to better understand that i also want to clarify the lover's card representing the energy of gemini coming in attached to your future some of you may have a new connection new love coming into your life and it's just you know i had to i had to end something in my life in order for this love to come in and this love can be romantic love it can be a person it can be a job it could be a friendship as well but it's a beautiful energy for you virgo so i want to clarify that and then i want to clarify the will of fortune talking about the changes coming in and i want to clar clarify both the tower energy and the ten of swords energy is connected to your past something happened here and i want to go in and i want to try to get some more information on this and then I want to clarify chariot energy, Cancer's energy. And then we're gonna clarify the moon energy, which is Pisces or Cancer energy. And then I wanna clarify Scorpio's energy coming in as a death card, as well as Capricorn's energy coming in as a devil card. Let's clarify both of those. I may even clarify the Seven of Cups to see if we can get a better idea of what some of these choices are for some of you. Maybe what this rainbow symbolizes for many of you. Maybe Spirit will tell us that in the extended tarot reading. Uh, and then, Virgo, I want to build upon this rainbow and this beginning for you, and I want to see what the energies look like moving forward, assuming this beginning's coming together, assuming you're going to have a beginning where it's going to be perfectly suited for you, where you're connected to all your true colors, all your natural abilities. It's like, wow, I just feel at home with this beginning. And that's interesting. I would say at home with this beginning because you have a lot of fourth house energy taking place for you towards the end of this month, which is all about the home and the family. So Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope this tarot reading is resonating with you. I hope a lot of you follow me over to Vimeo for the extended tarot reading. For the rest of you, this is probably where we part ways. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the love and the support that you guys provide me. Uh, if any of you are interested in getting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you and schedule a time to work on your personal tarot reading. Let's find out what's going on in your life. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Wishing you all the very best. Have a fantastic rest of May.